Tennis, also known as supersized ping pong, is a sport that can take years to master. But I'm going to make a video for you so you don't have to spend years hitting a ball over a net. Who has time for that? I mean, pro tennis players, but you're probably not a pro. So let's go. It's Adler, Adler, it's the Adler Show. Now the first basic of tennis should be pretty obvious. Wear tennis shoes. If the creators of the shoe name it the tennis shoe, you should obviously be wearing it. And for the life of me, an undercover sneaky spy, don't call them sneakers. They're not, they're, they're tennis shoes. After you have your shoes on, it's time to warm up with some stretches. Let's start with the legs. This one's called, is he doing a dance or did he soil his pants? Real good for the thighs. Feel the burn. Now let's warm up those arms. Take the tennis racket and hold it behind your back and stir the pot. Do this for about 20 minutes. Whew. All warmed up, now let's work on some serves. A good powerful one I like is the baseball serve. Then there's the spaghetti arms. Also the knee service. Ooh, the karate kid. And the classic chuck. Now let's talk smack talk. Every time you serve, you are required to say, BOOM! You just got served! Here's some more tennis insults that you can use. Hey, my pet skunk called. He said your return stinks. Your serves aren't even as good as the service at a cheap restaurant. I bet you're really good at tennis on Wii Sports. Oh, and also remember to be sophisticated with your insults. Don't be immature. You call those tennis shoes more like tennis poos, huh? And the final tennis tip I have for you is to make sound effects. If you don't make a sound effect when you hit the ball, you'll be laughed off the court. Congratulations, you are now educated in the basics of tennis. Go ahead and show off your newfound tennis skills to your friends. And until next time, stay awkward.